What's going on guys? Welcome back to another fresh commentary. Now guys, I'm sorry to say, but if you don't have a phone or it's not activated or whatever, I don't think you can play video games anymore because now most online games are going to require you to have an active phone number connected in order to play. This is to avoid cheaters and most big games like Overwatch and COD think that this is the easiest way to go about it. Overwatch 2 kind of started it and now COD is adapting the same idea because clearly their anti-cheat isn't as effective as tracking someone down who's hacking and making them stay banned from the game because they have their entire phone number connected to their account. But this new requirement to play games is ridiculous because what if some people don't have a phone and still want to play these type of games? I didn't get my first phone until I was like freaking 18 so I could only imagine the youngsters who just want to hop on new games and can't now because they don't have a phone number unless it's their parents. They're going to be left out of the fun and that sucks. But even if you do have a phone number there's been reports of people not able to play the game even though they have an active phone line like with Cricket or Metro PCS users, their carriers won't work with the game, which is ridiculous. Like, they have a phone, let them play. It's like Blizzard is blocking specific carriers for their own reasons. Like, I don't know, Corpo Competition or something? Like, they have a grudge against them? So, Rip Cricket and Mint Mobile users with Ryan Reynolds. Blizzard doesn't consider those carriers real or official, so you can't play their games. Gonna have to switch to something like Verizon just to play their games. And this is how it's gonna be from now on. They found this to be the easiest solution to combat cheaters, and it's so unfair to the majority of their players who can't really afford a phone line or have one but it just isn't capable to use on their services. So I say just get rid of the phone requirements, it's ridiculous. You shouldn't need a phone number just to play a game. I know it's to prevent some hackers because they won't be able to use the same phone number after getting banned and maybe they can even track them down to take legal action against them to stop them from hacking ever again or worse than that. Nah, I'm joking but I don't think this is a good idea. I bet soon this will cause all sorts of problems it already has, like people getting doxxed easily especially famous streamers and content creators. Their number would just pop up on stream or someone will leak it through Overwatch or COD only for them to have to switch to providers because they're gonna be bombarded with spam calls from fans. And plus, what's stopping a hacker from buying a burner or something and just using that to verify their alt account that they'll be able to hack on? This is so pointless, like they're gonna find a way around it, they always do. This new requirement actually hurts the standard player because all these limitations make it harder for a new player to just want to play the game at all. It just makes them step away from it because while trying to load up the game for the first time, they're gonna actually for your number, email, blood type, social security, date of birth, and more. It's insane and I don't like the direction the gaming industry is going with this. At first we found out about the new feature Overwatch 2. In the past some games like Among Us have obviously used it too, but I think Overwatch's case was by far the worst because you had to have a phone at launch and the launch of the game was already bad enough so this made it worse. But at first everyone found out about the new feature and they were just like oh yeah this, this is no problem. Typical Blizzard of course we're gonna need a phone number to play their games and people just move on and they set up their whole SMS verification just so they can get started to play. And there was like a whole controversy going on and people got over it. But now that COD comes around and announces that you're gonna need a phone number for their game as well to play Modern Warfare 2, everyone's just like, nah, this is too far. Next thing you know, Minecraft is gonna wanna add a phone requirement, Valorant, Fortnite, and every other big online game out there because they think this is the easiest solution to cheaters on their game. But this, guys, is by far the worst. And we already got a taste of what can go wrong with Overwatch too. And plus, cheaters love to watch the world burn. I'm 100% sure they'll activate a dedicated phone line just to use hacks still. They're that persistent, trust me. So this whole thing solves nothing. Like I said, it just hurts their player base. Pretty sure this is gonna want to make some people miss out on these games because they don't have a phone line. And what's funny is the SMS verification is only for PC players on Modern Warfare 2 because there's no way people hack on console unless they shove like a USB stick in there or something. But it's always PC the majority of the time, so they screwed us up for sure. I'm not sure if it's the same for Overwatch too because I'm pretty sure my friend on PS5 had to use his phone to verify in order to play. But I'm pretty sure it's only for PC right now for Modern Warfare 2. But they'll see how effective this method is from blocking some cheaters on PC and they'll just add it to consoles just to be safe. So you guys aren't safe. The SMS verification is coming to console as well. They said SMS verification is critical to our anti-cheat enforcement efforts, tackling illicit account creation at its source. I think emails are the actual source. I don't think it's phone numbers. Some people don't even link phone numbers. But moving on, they also said that this helps our security team to maintain account and game security in order to provide a safe, fair, and fun gaming experience for all our players. The SMS requirement for game access is used for security purposes only. Call of Duty does not use SMS verification data for marketing purposes, but to be honest, we don't really know that. Either way, I still stand by the idea that this won't help at all. Hackers will still find a way around this, using like Magic Jack or something, like register a new number with 1-800 before it. I don't know, man, but the only thing that would work in my opinion is a proper anti-cheat. 
cheat that actually blocks the external programs they use. This is just a lazy solution by Activision Blizzard that honestly will still hurt basic consumers more. And taking a look around on how everybody's reacting to this change, I say most people would agree with me. Like everyone's been saying, the gaming industry is going backwards. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to talk on this. Let me know your thoughts below. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like for more. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Stay blue.